It's got two bomb sites, it's got nice. IP, it's got mouse sports, and it's got the nice. train yard that we're jumping right into the final map of this series, the decider between NIP and Mouse Sports. New look Mouse Sports with a recent entry fragger addition in the form of BMAS NIP. They've made some changes this year as well, and they've got the big brain hampers to lead them. Yep, 20 v 20. First time it's ever been done. 10 mans? Nah, man, I'm about those 40 mans, you All know? Right. I'm the captain, you're a captain. You get, you, you get first three picks. I don't even think I have enough friends to fill up a 20 on 20. Oh, man, that's you can barely get five yeah. players in an MM game. Yeah, right, that's but, true. Uh, Normally I get me and you and then three animals and that's pretty much the extent <laughs> of it. So let's go. Stuffed animals at that. <laughs> yeah. Not even living functioning animals. We're talking about the hard knocks of matchmaking. Well, luckily, we've got some actual oxygen breathers in the server today to show us what they're made of. Deep breaths as NIP creepy crawl up Ivy. Oh, Rez with an opener. Can he get any more? Can he get any more? That's the question we're asking. Frozen is running out of there, getting out of danger and putting himself in the sandwich. But that there Whoa. leaves him in the prying eyes of more danger. So now Rop's over here in heaven holding on to this outside area. But they know, they've seen him. They've seen, what was it? Like a shoulder, a barrel? I couldn't tell, but they know that Rops is here. His cover's been blowing, they're onto him. They know his real identity. And they oh, deal with him God. up in the heavens, Twist doubling up. Chris spotted as well, his position's no longer a secret and it all falls on to Carrigan and then to no one. As NIP sweep that pistol round on the board. Yeah, and they could have used a few extra players there, it seems. <laughs> Didn't really go how they planned for it to. Oh. Four live on the nip side at the end of the round with the bomb plant and off the back of a 16-4 victory on Mirage. Just pack it up. This one's over. Yeah, the wheels are turning for NIP now. That was that was a terrifying pistol, right? Wrapping Ivy, coming back through sandwich, just rerouting. Mouseballs think they're set up for it. Somehow a Glock beats a USP in that head-to-head -head between Robs and Twist. Don't know how. Nades up on that A site, but they are responded to by mouse boards. More damage onto NIP than the alternative, but they pick it up and they go back towards B. Hampers often on his own, selling this fake, throwing utility, keeping mouse boards in the wrong place. And Nade does two damage, sadly. Looks pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. It looked like it was on track. I think it like went into the, the ceiling bit above. Oh. That corrugated cardboard type stuff. Yeah, that yeah, ceiling yeah. Material usually will protect from a grenade blast. I think it's made out of like fiberglass or something. Probably make it worse. Huh? Yeah, fiberglass. I was going to say great, <laughs> great deterrent to a grenade. Shrapnel now. Almost as good as regular glass. I hear the oh, hide yeah. behind that's pretty yeah. packed as well. Yeah, they can't see you. That's a go to. Yes, indeed. Of course, Peppo think now. Peppo think. Hmm. Well, Rez going to move in through upper and down here a ramp. There is the deagle on Rops, and it's here in a big way. Come on, give us a third. Yeah, there it is. Rops, why not four? You're already uh, not four, actually. You know what? That's a little too much to ask. Klopski still in a world of hurt. 1v4 required. And Chris J scouts him out of the round. An immediate reply from Maus. And already this is looking better than Mirage. Yeah. Definitely, right? They're one-fourth of the way. But uh, firstly, more competitive. And I think that's what we're looking for, right? Whoever wins this one, we want it to be a, a bit of a battle, a bit of a back-and-forth battle. That last map was nothing like that. Chris, great shot with the scout, man. He's only had it a few rounds today, but he's hit some bangers. Rob's feeling good about his 3K as well. Locks down the B-bomb site. And now the Deegs, well, they're in the hands of the Swedes. So, Hugo, just, just a brief history lesson here, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, because, you know, this could be one of those trash rounds. Yeah, this is looking like it is with Frozen absolutely eradicating Nip via SMG. Um, just a little backstory here. Where's sure. Woxic? Bench, mate. Got any more to that story? Or uh, that... Well, no, not really. That's, oh. uh, that's all I'm privy to. Gone for the time being, but hopefully back in full force later on. I, it felt like when he played Cologne, like he knew, you know? Yeah. Right, like, oh, great shot. <laughs> like it was expected. Obviously, BMAS was already on the roster at the time as a sixth man. He got moved up into, you know, pole position post Cologne. But yeah, Woxic, his last game of uh, of Cologne Vertigo map, he wasn't even orping on it, Trace. We were like sitting there thinking, yeah, this, this is probably.
just round the corner. And somehow, some way, NIP, they're around the corner. They're around both corners. In B, in CT, everywhere in between. The swap oh. doesn't matter. You said it was a trash round. It st certainly started that way, but somehow ends in the favor of NIP. Imagine that. What? Harry's over here mumbling about Waxic, and lo and behold. Yeah, Harry, why'd you do that? <laughs> why's he done that? Just having a nice uh, Mountain, Mountain Dew, Dew game break. For, yeah, I see that. But well, we don't have too many of those, so don't drink them all, okay? Try and stop me, man. When I'm when I'm pumped <laughs> up on three of these, Trace, mm, I'll uh, I'll put up a bit of a fight. Not against you, though. Maybe against Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who would win out of you two. That's a very curious thing right there. You guys got speed and agility, but I've just got like uh, the hammer fist. Yeah, the hammer fist. That's actually <laughs> patented name. Special ability. Oh well, Carrigan, he's gonna get hammer fisted out of the round by Rez. <laughs> Chris J does respond. Oh god. And uh, well, Frozen <laughs> just like looking at Maid, even though they're already in the site. Chris still responded, still holding the line. But how much can you expect just one man to do? And the answer is two kills or thereabout. As Beamass and Robs have plunged into a two on three. And they've been discovered too. So that secret's up. Yeah, NIP on this T side, they're so good at like throwing waves of attack at you. You're gonna see Mouse Balls players looking the wrong direction on this CT side because NIP love, you know, selling fakes in a way, not like faking the bomb side, but faking who's pushing first and coming up on the sidelines, right? Like one player running down Olaf that round, more coming through the E box. And Mouse Balls know where to go, but back to spawn. Unfortunately for them, spawn is contaminating, mate. Rez is there. Though he hasn't seen BMAS inside a connector, checking it on a timing. We'll get away with this deeg by the looks of things, or maybe I'm speaking too soon, as Rez goes up, above, and beyond. Goodbye, oh. BMAS. It's only Rops. And this one ain't prettier for him either. Oh, no. The build, the CZ build, it strikes back with a vengeance. Should have got his hands on a Tech-9. CT side. I know. Could have went over there to T-spawn and bought one, obviously. Yeah, that's how it works. Just got to get there real fast. Real Do you remember fast. the good old days? Maybe not the good old days. The good the old days. days now. Let's hear about them. The <laughs> days where, you know, there was a 45-second buy time. And so what you could do, I did this a couple of times, is you dust two, you rush B, you don't buy on the pistol. You rush B, you get a kill, you run back to spawn, you buy a Mac 10 10 10.50, mate. Yeah, I think that was used probably once or twice in pro match. It's pretty good. It was always entertaining. Yeah, like, you know, there's ways to do that. Your teammate could drop you a deagle. You could get the kill with a deagle. Obviously, still with $800. A mid crossing player. Yeah, reasonable That's shot. A, yeah, it's a pretty, you know, it's Easy not. Shot. You can't, like, you know, no one's looking at that, like, yeah, I can hit that every time. If they fight, though. Well, there's I mean, a fight going on here. Technically, that is still doable now, right? By logic. You know, if someone drops you a deagle in a pro game, you could, you could get the kill in the fi first 15 seconds if someone gave you the fight. Which is, I just don't have logic that good at CS. Yeah, I just don't know either. Somebody should at him and tag Harry in it. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll speak with logic. I'll be the guy to do that if need be. I saw the T-Pain streams on Twitch, so... I saw that as well. His intro to his stream was about yeah. the most hype thing I've ever yeah. seen for a streamer, so... All right, bet. Let's get him to call into the Pro League. T-Pain. Yeah, why don't we get more, like, you know, we could get... We could get T-Pain. We could get Pusha T. Let's get them all to call in at once. We'll get Pusha T and Drake in on the yeah, same dude, call. That would be... And it'll just be like us three. And we'll just kind of like sit here and we'll see what really happens. Like, how does this go down? And hopefully you got some questions prepared, Harry, because I don't even know what we'd say to those guys. I think it's more about what they say to each other. You're right. That's what we're really trying to get at. Yeah. But we don't want them to know about our game plan before they get here. Come on, guys. Well, it was Talk good that we it. didn't reveal it in any way, shape, or <laughs> form ahead of time, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, it's just us three sat in this room talking. So, <laughs> the light off and everything. Who knows? <laughs> we do have the investment coming in for Mouse. And Frozen taking his little M4 into the pop. Bit of a spam exchange there. And both. Just goes straight into the junk folder as nothing happens. Plopsky, what are you doing? Ooh. What are you doing, Plopsky? What are these spams you're trying to... Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo! <laughs> Frozen just deletes Hampus. He's had enough of, like, having, having bullets land kind of near him, and he's like, I'll show you how it's done. 
at one kill. Easy. Easy for Frozen. Hampus now having to lead his team from beyond the grave. What's this ghostly apparition commanding right now? It looks like it's going to be an Ivy play. Frozen and Chris going to swap weapons out. And IP start to sneak their way down toward Ivy side. Now there is a fast rotation available from Carrigan from this B site. But we do need at least one of these two players that are about to be challenged, the BMAS and Frozen, to hold their ground. If they both fall right away, this say site is right for the taking, no matter how fast the rotations are. And luckily enough, BMAS is able to win his side of the fight. Delays it for just a moment, Ooh. but is that enough? Because Plopski has just torn open the A side of the map, and it's only Rops left in the blink of an eye. Damn, dude, the org on the T side. What a dirty weapon to entry with. He finds three into A. BMAS... Getting one on Ivy. The spray was good. The, the transfer, or well, not transfer, but control. But MIP don't repeat back in. They get in an off angle and twist will trade. And now Rob's all to do. Not a lot of time nor weaponry to do it with. And he's been spotted as well. Twist with the info and hits a perfect shot. Rob's also hits the shot. But unfortunately for him, it's an M4 that does the dink and nothing more. MIP keep up the streak on this T side. Rallying rounds together. Just filth. Carrigan. Dying to his own weapon, his own famed org. How much he can do about that one, huh? More echoing for Mouse Sports. Rops is on a scout and we have pistols around it. Oh. Well, given this org over to Plopsky has turned out to be the worst thing that's ever happened to Mouse Sports. Plopsky is already very, very deep as well, and they have no idea. Rez, he's done it, hasn't he? The round's done. Sorry, but that's it. Emas all alone, trapped in Ivy. What can he even do? He's got a CZ. It's a nice CZ. I'll give him that. It's the, uh, I forgot the name of this one. AK-47. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you, Trace. Gotcha, man. Anytime, Harry. Five alive, though, for Nip. Seems like any time they want to get into a bomb site, they can make it happen unless Rops is waiting around the corner. The only round that Mouse Sports have won thus far came on the back of some huge deagle plays for Mr. Cool. Now the only thing that's cooled off for the Mouse Sports themselves, Bemis, the only one left alive with that CZ, as you said. You were somewhat attracted to the skin, Harry. I think it's like the auto cat, if I remember, or something like that. It says cat on the side, so I know I'm close. I think it's like the fourth skin in that case. But again, like attention drawn away. Popsky gets this pick. Rez drops out of Pop with two more. And you see Mouseball's not even looking at it. They're not even considering Pop Dog. Still attuned to Popsky's position. And this is not the start that Mouseball wanted. Uh, wanted again. The T side beginning for NIP is such a danger. 6 1 up. Double orb out. Let's see what Mouseball's can do. Yeah, is this double orb the difference maker that was needed? It's really going to have to be. That's a oh. brilliant nade. Hampus. Big nade. Hampus just hates life now. He's going to get out of main. He got wallbanged by the orb as well at the same oh. time. It wasn't just the nade. I was going to say, that felt like way too good for a nade. Yeah, so it's going to be like a B play. Look at this. Hang on a moment, Trace. I didn't mean to cut you off, oh, but look right. at this. Rops is cutting them down. Ramp. It belongs to Rops. He's in with four. They try and go B. And while they end up taking a, a pretty destructive route into the site, frozen there with the last as well. And so there we go. That's what it takes for Mouse to get themselves another on the board. Triple off was that. I swear I just saw three. And again, Rops holding it down, keeping it real for Mouse Boards. Oh, look at the fan cams. This guy's playing with his LED lights in the bottom right. So that's kind of cool, I guess. It is three orbs. Ooh. Yep. And they're all on A. This is weird. <laughs> hey, let's see what I... Oh, now it's two orbs. So fans of the triple orb, devastated already. Here's the reflash in for Frozen, okay. one of the only rifled players, and boy, does he make his presence know, and he's able to deal with three before the nade finishes him in the afterlife. And now Nork and Twist 
Well, they're still left in a kind of doable spot. Like, in spite of Frozen's best efforts, a two on three is not impossible. This bomb is main, so even though Twist is clearing out upper halls and checking for aggression, yeah, he's got to come back and commit with his teammate or through the pop. Burns time off the clock, but it only makes Mousebots doubt themselves and start to consider that these T's are going towards B. It's not the case. B Mass is very passive, holding Ivy on a timing. And Chris, he's got to watch main and pop. Oh, I think they may have seen the barrel there. Or not. Twist is checking everything. B Mass is coming around the corner. Good timing. Gets a bit of damage off that. At least allows Chris to reposition and try and check for them. Jumped up on the site is Twist, deeper than Chris expected. Molly in the pot won't matter as he's a safe passive retake, uh, retake rotations for Mouse Sports. Oh. Rob's great shot, catches Nork on the angle, and Twist has to clutch. Yeah, it's a pretty tall order. He goes up on the ladder. Spots where these players are moving in from and now tries to play around this bomb, but they know where he is. He sees a man on the train, looks for the fight, but BMAS is going to win it out. The defuse will come in and Mouse, after that Rops 4k, find themselves another round here, this time on the back of Frozen. Yeah, big plays there from Pop. I'm going to watch that one back. Get yourself one more. Ah, there it is. Triple op set up. Somehow, some way. I do feel like, you know, whenever I see pros using the skins from like the new cases, all the really expensive ones, I used to be all caught up on it and now I just don't know any of the names. Trace, do you still have your M4 skin? Yes. <laughs> uh, the Faded Zebra, I call it. It's, it's there. <laughs> Not oh. at the same time. Big plays from Frozen, his M4. Take the skin off Flopsky's teeth. So far, so good. Mouse Sports is starting this round off at an advantage. All the feet. That's enough for Carrigan. Boom. Takes a grab at him and steals Rezzy's shoes away. Nork does drop down with a flashbang, but Carrigan has the cross and Rops with another orb is here as well. They're pushing through the smoke. Oh dear, they've taken a bullet to the face. Nork, he's still standing with his orb on full health and going above the train, almost dropped by Rops. Carrigan, or Frozen rather, does it instead. There's everyone fighting on the lane side. NIP are looking to take kills back, but instead their hole is getting dug deeper. Mousebots have the shovel out. And right now, Hampus might have to dig his own grave in this one on four. Bomb is down under enemy control. Four on the B-bomb site. This smoke gives away his position, and now all eyes are tuned and trained on ramp. Frozen, he hears the tags, and he knows what's coming. Yeah, there's not really much Hampus can do there, is there? It's, uh, it's a very unlikely 1v4. As you say, the smoke gives away his position. But what else are you left with? You know, you don't smoke. You, you still die running down the ramp. You just have even less of a chance. So... Yeah, that's, this is like a, a nice recovery for Maus. It's slow, but it's sure, and they're moving in the right direction. And that's what we wanted to see. And clearly NIP are feeling that pressure a little bit as well, because they've called in a tactical pause to try and figure out what the hell is going wrong in this one. We got the between Rops and a hard place sign. We got Van Maus. Everyone's waving. Hi! Apart from the dude lying down in bed, he's just chilling out. He's having a great time. There was a unicorn there, and you didn't even say anything about it, Harry. Hey, there's so honestly, I, my problem is, is I get like too homed in on just like one camera. You're just You're, trying to understand one walk up. Yeah, line. exactly. Like I'm trying to understand one individual. I don't look at the whole, which, you know, good and bad, I guess. That, it sounds pretty bad when you say it like that, but it is what it is, Harry. Yes, indeed. Let's get us back on track. And with the fourth round, it's going to be these M4s. Ooh. Only one of them, really. Plopsky with a nice trade on the Frozen after having grabbed the initial pick. What? Why is Twist jiggling? Rops, how does he know about him? Rops gets away with one, but when we traded, NIP were far too ready for that position considering he didn't get spotted upper. And, ooh, Chris, he's crept in. They don't know. He's dropped the bomb. There's one above him, but backing up his Hampus, not wanting to commit into the AWP that took a shot. Up above the train is BMAS. He's already switched sides. Hampus now knows, but he goes into Chris. He can't get a good angle. BMAS flashing them both back, being a nuisance. Double up, picked up for NIP. 
So they look to make both these weapons work to get the bomb back. It's not an easy task, but through the smoke, oi, oi. Ampers is going deep. BMAS has got to clear this, and he does. Great shot, leaving Nork on the AWP up above. Oh, oh, oh we've all been timing. there. Timing. Oh, Chris J just deletes him. And, you know, this This was Crisp J, exactly, man. And, you know, that's the thing. Like, this was this was feeling so one-sided, you know. NIP, they were 6-1 up. How could we ever forget that? But we could be forgiven for forgetting that. As now it's 6-5. to five. Suddenly, Mao's are closing this gap. And we are seeing them grind their way back into this. And, you know, we got Frozen kind of leading the charge right now. And all it's going to take is a few more to start to follow in his footsteps, like Rops has been doing, who's always so great over in this B site. And then slowly but surely, the rest of the team can come alive around it. Rops is donning this secondary AWP again over towards the connector. And with only pistols on the other side, outside of that one hero AK on the back of Rez, these AWPs have got a lot of... Uh, a lot of say in this round, with very little to contest them. Yeah, Rez is going to have to muscle up, do some heavy lifting in this one. Chris is watching from the boost in T-Con as well, or in Con, rather. Oh, team kill, but Rez does follow up with the tip taps, taking Chris back. BMAS trades through a smoke, and Carrigan is on the edge of one as well. Rops has fired off one orb. There's the second going to life as well. And Plopsky, well, he might just be dead here. He does take a kill, but now everyone alerts to his position. Rops running him down. The call was made. He was low, and Rops does not wait. As Mouseports, they've really pulled the old comebackaroo here five in a row. Now up to 6-6. Six, six. This was a dominant start for NIP, but Mouseboards, this double or some nice inner holds. They've come up with solutions, and NIP now have to pull the rabbit out of the hat in the last three rounds of the half if they want to win it out. And at least for Nip, you know, last round, they do get pop control. It's not really just, you know, taking over and frozen running the show there. They have something. But at the end of the day, here we go. It's a bit of an Ivy pop. Ivy play with the bomb in as well. Now mid has been conceded. It's weird how this map, or rather how this game works. You just take a little map control and you play the round out. Yeah, that looks to be the aim of the game right here, right now. NIP moving up through Ivy. No one actually keeping an eye. Well, Carrigan is oh, keeping no. an eye on it, but... Uh, oh, ow. Chris, ow. he is a man made of steel. He's somehow still alive. He does take that as the invitation to leave Maine, and I think that's a pretty good idea. So he backs out. Carrigan now, he's been holding on to Ivy all damn round, waiting for a peek. And here it comes. Smoke goes down. Carrigan cut off the angle. But if I know NIP like I think I know NIP, they might have something to do with going through this smoke. They boost a man up over the top of it. They flash Frozen in the meantime on the mouse side into main, and he makes a bit of a mess. They do try and go through the smoke, but Carrigan, he's privy to it. Flash through, Carrigan back on the angle, misses the second time around, and that's given a little bit of room over to these two stragglers for NIP, but BMAS and Frozen, they combine for a kill onto Twist, no less. And that leaves Nork in the hot seat. He's not able to breach his way into that site. And so Mouse, they actually take the lead, which as I say, this is 6-1 in favor of Nip at one point in time. And since that point, Mouse Sports have won every single round. Yeah, great communication from Mouse Sports as well, right? Even though when they lose Chris in main and he has to bail out, Carrigan, who's on top of the red train, has to reposition as well. And he does so to post up for Ivy. He sets up for the CT wrap. And even though they don't, goes for CT, they come through the smoke, Carrigan's still pivoting while Frozen's getting flashed in main. Very proactive play from Mouseports, not just waiting for NIP to make the move, as they often have been. They are the ones to push the boat out. And NIP lost at sea right now, no money either. Got an AK on Plopsky. You can buy up rifles here, but you won't have grenades behind them, so it's pick one or the other. NIP go for both, but spread it thinly across. Plopsky. Popsky at the top of the board has to do everything here for an IP. A little bit of timeout here. Shouldn't run us any more than 60 to 90 seconds, if I had to guess. 
Just off the top of my head, of course. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't you're not even a believer anymore, Hugo? No, I, I, well, I believe in you, Trace. Sure. Ah, there we go. I, I'm sure what you're telling is the truth. Well, I mean, your map yeah. picks have been great. <laughs> you're guessing on how long the pauses have been great. Winning or predicting that Nip will win this game. Probably going to happen too. Strong statement, Trace. This that is a close. strong statement, especially considering that they have lost the last six rounds in a row. You guys just don't believe, okay? Let's just 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 pretend that like eighty-seven and zero, and that never stopped. But like you know, we'll just pretend like it never stopped. Yeah, and that they're still. Well, they're going to go many, you know. 88 no if they win this series. And they're going to, oh, okay, Different dude, yeah. players now, Different many years game on. completely, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. It's yeah crazy. But, you know, it never stopped, as, as we have all come to believe a on the basis of, a, of this conversation. Hypothetical conversation, of course. Hi, yeah, hypothetical conversation here. Very pathetical. Also, I got some sad news, guys. I got some sad news. Oh, oh not no. surprise. Oh. 2020 keeps yeah, on. Dude, Crossier, uh, he let me know on Twitter that they actually patched that out. The the Mac 10 buy and the pistol. You can only buy $800 worth of stuff. Oh. No, they did that apparently a while ago. But yeah. Oh, Hugo, you didn't know that? Jesus no, Christ. No, dude, guess not. Cheese and rice. I can't believe this, that Hugo didn't know. Wow. I would have just, you know, if, if I was Hugo, I wouldn't have even <laughs> thanked the guy for letting me know. Or at least this is how I imagine Hugo was going to deal with it. Yeah, he right. just come out like, oh, no, actually, I've just remembered. I've just exactly. remembered. Yeah. Oh, I just, <laughs> well, I point just I went on earlier, actually, take it all back. <laughs> None of it's true. But it is a cool idea nonetheless. Now, let's get back in our time machine four years ago to when this bug worked <laughs> and when Nip were 80, 87 and 0. Man, and we all remember this Nip squad going yeah. 87 and 0. Now, that, that's something that takes yeah. you back, right? Oh. They're about up to 800 and 0 at this point. Led by Plopsky with the AK. Just like they were back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> at the height of the 87 and 0 antics. And here it is, that IP. They need some of that old school nip magic that we so often associate with this squad. Because right now things are looking dire. And that 87 and 0 streak, it's all on the line. So Rez, trying to keep this one moving forward. Keeps moving forward. Over, back towards teammate. Smoke goes down and that will keep NIP at bay. At least for now. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race, eh? And it's no rush for NIP. Throw their station already. Smoke going over Ivy from a twist. It's going to land in the face of BMAS. He goes ahead of it. Flash in the face as well. Wow, it's really not great. Freiburg coming up Ivy now with the Deeg. <laughs> BMAS on the other side. A tail as old as time. Oh, that's not the Freiburg we expected. He falls. Now it's up to Get Right and Forest in main. Coming out quickly. They're going to get mowed down. BMAS with another. Chris, he's going to drop exist. And now it's all down oh. to one man and one man only. Biff Warren also <laughs> unable to turn the tide. It's Mouse Sports up to eight. Man, yeah. Really rolling it back. There Eco Sports go. now in control. The German team. <laughs> head by the boss oh, dude, out. this is spinning me out. <laughs> oh dear. What year is this? Uh, I think it's 2020. But if we're trying to forget about that too, then we can. I think everyone's kind of in agreement that 2020 should just go away. Oh, that's, 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 that's an AK and spawn. spawn. You don't need that where you're going. I it's know, it's AK round 15, spawn. and so you know maybe it's like for one of the one of the orc players, but surely one of the M4 guys should have grabbed that. M4 guys, more like M4 guys, am I right? As Chris <laughs> J takes one of the dome, he's out. He's been eliminated from this round, and now we look towards the rest. Or should I say the res, as he's over here above Pop Dog, waiting for Frozen. Bimas trying to hold on to Olaf. They know that Hampus was out here being a nuisance, being annoying, and he's going to continue being exactly that. They try and deal with him. It only makes the problem worse. Nork has already gotten a little too close for Carrigan's liking. And there's Rops with him with the trade, but it's still a huge advantage with NIP that Rops is doing his damnedest to reclaim. Rez is like, by the way, guys, I still have Frozen and Pop. He's still here. He's still shooting at me. Can somebody do something? And that's where Hampus is hoping to come in and be the hero we need him to be. And while they kept Rez here, Rops is like, I'll take the fight. You can't, Ro if you can't Frozen, I'll do it. There you go, easy. Don't know why you took so long to even do that. As now we're into a two on two. Yeah, Rops is going for the ace in this one. If Frozen doesn't steal it away, really, Mouse Balls are just after a ninth, but NIP have had time to spread out in the site. 
Oh boy. Important utility for Rops. Hampus is close. Trying to stop him from getting out of main. Waiting for the right time to strike and he spotted him. But oh dear, Miss Molly. Rops just has to commit. Throw everything at this site right now because the bomb is ticking down. Hampus shot down by Rops on four. One more. It's Twist at the back of Connector. This bomb is ticking away and it's almost ticked past the point. Four for Rops. It would be a travesty to lose the round now. But oh. a spray is perfect for Twist and that's it. That's the round. That's the half. Nip are going to put up seven. And we are split right down the middle here. Mouse Sports versus the Ninjas in Pajamas. We're cut to a brick, uh, a brick break. Maybe a quick break even on top of that. We'll be right back, everybody. smiling so should you actually you should sit back relax and enjoy the show we do have one in front of us and it's a best of three we're on the third map right now between the ninjas of pajamas and mouse sports and so far it's been a little bit of a back and forth topsy-turvy sort of wave we're riding around here i've got harry and hugo to help me deliver this content but also they're delivering the majority of it which leads me to believe that i should tell you and warn you that we are in a little bit of a pause here. I'm going to remind you that we have Vitality versus Strawless after this in the best of three. So that one's pretty exciting. But for the time being here, the numbers across train. Harry, just give me kind of like a surface level overview of just like what you're thinking about right now in this moment. 
Uh, well, I'm, I'm thinking that Mouse Sports have really impressed me with the resilience here. You know, you think about it, they were they were getting bodied early on, you know, 6-1 down, and then suddenly they're able to claw it back to a state in which they've actually won out the half 8-7. Like, that's impressive, that's tenacious, that's resilience. And it's been Frozen and Rops getting them there, which makes it even better, because these are the two players, in my mind, that you want showing up in the server to make this a competitive series yeah. after all. And Rops showing up in, in a big way, in a lot of different ways over there on the inside of the, the map, which is... Ultimately, given Mouseports something to work with. Now you see why we're delayed a little bit. Chris J having to clean off the old, the old bifocals there and really give this one a good, clean, hard look. But for us, I mean, I think that this is probably the best time you go for a, an educational block. What do you think? Uh, yeah, what would you like to learn about? I see you've got, a, you've got a massive book there, Trace. Well, you know, I was on about a page uh, 969, and I realized that I wanted to know a little bit more about Inferno. So let's do that with a pro tip. Hey future pros, retaking the B-Site on Inferno can be pretty tough, however the molly or incendiary I'll show you all today will help clear out one of the little hidey holes a T could be in. To throw this molly, secure runes first, then get into the corner next to the sandbags. Aim up and place your crosshair in the midsection of the ruined roof between these two points. Get your crosshair in line with this kink in the scaffolding, then simply running jump throw the molly. As you can see here, this tee did smoke the molly, but from this angle you can see that the molly does in fact completely coat the area in flames. Good luck and happy retaking. Well, it's just Hugo and I, we've actually sent Harry on to somewhere else. Somewhere else he never thought he would be, which happens to be right there underneath the desk. Yeah, what's up? Hang on, there we go. Hi. Yeah, uh, man, this is this is proven to be a long one, so I'm just chilling out as we have a little have a little break. You know, it'd be really cool since we do have this big green screen if we could like holographically put you right here, even though you're not. Yeah, it'd be nice to not have Harry physically on the desk, but more <laughs> just you know, all right, just for that. I'm, <laughs> I'm peering up now. Oh, there it is. All right, what's Reverse up? Psychology. It always uh, works. Yeah, it does. And a little bit of a tech pause just to remind you all while we're back on screen, you might be saying, well, what? stop talking, start the match or giving one of them Scottish accents with something like that. Mate, I can't just do it on, on this. I'm on the oh, ground, man. Oh. I'm physically, t you know, Scottish people, they're, they're like, they're, they're tall, they're scary. They're meant to be like uh, all up in your face. I can't do that from down here. When I'm not stood on the box and you see my real height, I'm actually a lot shorter than both of you. Four yeah. five. It's not really what I expected. Yeah, he's about four, 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 five, something like that. Good day. Um, it's meters though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All right, so at this halftime junction, we have an eight, seven yeah. score line. So just to kind of briefly catch everyone up here in the third map of the series, it's kind of gone split right down the middle, Harry. Yeah, man. I mean, that's what 8-7 is, right? That is the middle, as close as you can physically get to it. Uh, and, as, and as we were saying, like, it was a hell of a comeback from Mouse. Now, NIP, they're in a spot, right, where, where they're going to get tested. And that's the thing. They're moving on to this CT side. I, I, I don't know. I want this to be like a full 30-round game, if I'm being honest. A real belcher. We, yeah, like, you know, Nuke was competitive, right? Nuke was competitive. It might have looked like it was going to be a blowout for Mouse early on, but NIP were able to drag their way back into it. And I hope that's kind of what we get here on train as well. I want to have a good T side from Mouse. I want Rops and Frozen to keep putting up these numbers. I want to see a little bit more from the Orps on this Mouse Sports squad. I feel like that's going to be needed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like Nork or Hampus on the other side. And I, I mean, this needs to be a long game. It does. I want to have a really good conclusion of this series. Yeah, I mean, I like Mouse Balls as much as the next guy. Maybe not the guy next to me, because this guy really is a big Mouse Balls fan. But so not as much big... as the next guy. Yeah, yeah. maybe that guy, the guy okay. next to you. The guy that picked Nip, right, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Well, I, yeah, they're an exciting team and, and definitely cool storylines. But right now, if we look at standings and we want to we wanna make this group nice and spicy, I hope, well, no, not that I hope NIP wins, but if they, do, if they do win, what that would do is lift them up from the dirt. Right now, despite having a great run at Cologne and getting all the way to the semis. They actually fell to Vitality there. They fall to Vitality in their opener of EPL and Complexity beat them as well. So right now they're 0-2 as one of the top teams in this group, at least off of recent online results. So that's kind of sad to see NIP down there in the, uh, in the dumps right now alongside teams like FaZe and Spirit. But even Spirit have a win to their name. So yeah, right now NIP, this win, especially considering we're, we're at the focal point, we're in the last half of play, at least of regulation, this needs to be there. It's like they need to rise from the ashes, from the dust, 
and get in this group trace. Because O2, that's not where we expect NIP. Well, we are just waiting on that one player. We should be just a few seconds out. I'm told that it was Bemis. So if you wanted to direct or channel any of that, yeah, we're not going to allow you to do that, but I guess you could nonetheless. Now, I just want to ask you one key question here, Hugo, before we Ooh. jump back into the game. And it's, what do you say to the people that say you don't sound anything at all like you look? Then, oh, I don't know. I've never been asked. It's a strange, it's a strange yeah, one, I get right? that a lot. People, whenever I'm like comming and matchmaking, people are like, dude, this is a common question. Dude, how old are you? I'm just like, Young, like 20, 22, <laughs> 20, 22, 20, so in that region, take, yeah. they're like, man, I thought you were 40. I'm like, no, right. definitely not. not where yeah. I was trying to take this. But yeah. I, guess, I don't know. Like, I have nothing to say to them, you know? Well, Keep yeah, on being that's happy. Fight and talk there. Yeah. From Hugo, 40 year old Byron. Yeah. Big stick Byron is what they call him. Big stick Byron. Big He's got that big Byron. stick. He's yeah, swinging. man. Yeah, you swinging it. Okay. Swinging yeah. it around. And that's, we swing uh, into the game. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's. Oh. <laughs> In one minute. See, I, I tricked you guys. Yeah, I knew. yeah, yeah. You I like know. that. Uh, but we are just a few seconds out. Again, we have to run all the proper tests and protocols and obviously the, the safety guidelines here for connecting to an online match. We want to make sure yeah. that everyone stays safe and no one gets COVID via the Ethernet cables. No, yeah. Well, thankfully, I don't think that's the thing. But, uh, you know, like, we've got we got LAN coming up as well. That's an exciting yeah, thing exciting. that's going yeah. on, right? Because that's the thing. We're talking about all these online results. And everyone, you know, we, we've made do with online. It's been nice. It's been a good treat to still have CS to watch. But when it gets back to LAN, that's where things get exciting. That's where so many of these questions that we've had, like, all year. Like, it's been like a weird period of limbo for Counter-Strike, where we don't really know who's on top, who's the best team. When we finally have LAN, right before Christmas as well, so the timing just couldn't be better. Uh, we're going to get all those answers to, the, to, to 2020, really, in one go. Just boom, right there. It's right off the How top. How good's that? Yeah, and you got to think about eight teams, and we have no idea about, you know, how qualification works or those things. But for us to kind of just even think about what eight teams is a very spicy subject by itself. Yeah, and half a million dollars on the line. A lot not of it. bad, Chase. Not chump chains by any, uh, by any means. It's not like a landlord jerking you around type money. We're talking big buckaroos. Yeah. The WAP, the dinero. We're, we're, the looking, cash. we're looking at landlords, not landlords, you know? Like, okay. there you well, go, man. There yeah, you go. We should be jumping back into training any one. second, and I'll keep that one kind of like right here <laughs> yeah. in this yeah, front yeah, pocket yeah, just yeah. in case I have to use That's it at good. some point. Uh, it's not bad, though. Law of the land, you know, something like that. It, there's so many different ways you could run with that one. Uh, for us, though, we do look to be running back in the game at a merciful <laughs> pace here. Anytime soon. Right, I'm pulling up a chair. Yeah, this is going to take it. a while, right? Let's I, kick it back into podcast mode. on the floor for a change. Yeah, I mean, he was laying on the ground. Uh, now he's can I put my, can I, I, my shoes here. don't go comfortably here. up on the desk. Ah, there we go. There we go. That looks good, man. You look very <laughs> relaxed right now. I'm ready to get back in the game. This isn't really just like a... You know, a lax a day hey. school affair here. There's yes, there's music. Okay. We've been misled by this before. Yeah, but the last one is the music. So what is this? This is something this is for this pose, man. This I is what it is. <laughs> Thank goodness, Mouse Sports NIP it continues. The game you've all been waiting to see and we've been waiting to talk about. It's the second half. A bit of a lead. 8-7 right down the middle in favor of Mouse Sports. And boy, are they looking to take it over the line. That's right, though, Nip fans, fear not. We're still in this fight, 8-7. Hugo wasn't kidding, and I actually thought we had, like, My Chemical Romance queued up there for a minute, but we don't. Copy right now. Pistol round now. I do love to see a good Glock fade in the game. And a nice PQ-50. However, it's going to get traded out immediately. It's Rez onto Rops after the first kill of Hampus. His dreams for dampness. Yeah, I think you said dampness <laughs> for dampness or something like that. But this might prove to be a pretty wet ass pistol round here. Ooh. As BMAS and Chris J are looking to try. And Jimmy their way into this B site. BMAS going to get the bomb down. They've slipped past NIP. Chris J's wrapping all the way through Ivy. Wow. This is the longest possible re rotate he could come in on. BMAS taking up position over towards Oil. Chris J still running. Still running. He's got no choice but to come sprinting in for the save. Half the time ticked off this bomb. NIP oh, going to drop a smoke onto it. That could be a disaster. Twist has a kit, a kit as well. He's on it. BMAS. Oh, it's not going to happen. The defuse comes in and NIP, it's as easy as that. They get on the bomb, they hold E. 
They win. <laughs> now they tie us up at eight to eight. Try it at home. It works. Yeah, Twist even defuses from the oil side. So BMAS is like, has to go wide to actually get him off the defuse. And also worth noting, like not a big detail at all, but something I, I spotted. BMAS is shooting for the head down low. He's expecting Twist to be crouched, as most players do. They crouch on the defuse to duck shots. But actually Twist is standing. So the shots are actually landing at his legs. Even though there's some connections, it's not doing much damage. That's a, uh, yeah, mega brain for Twist. Yeah, One step a, ahead of the game. Basically, um... Hog wop at that joint, like that junction, you know. Making up my own emotes now. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. I didn't know that one. It's not really a thing. Double B for NIP and oh boy, it's gonna get messy. Churning them down. Hampus on the ramp. Rampus, Hampus, dead after one. Rops is going to trade it. He still takes a lot of damage there. That actually forces quite the rotation towards it. Yeah, quite the rotation indeed. And immediately, not the rotation as NIP right, actually, double back. Guys, there's no one else. So maybe we go back to A. And it's lo and B, behold, they've gone it's back to A. It's the classic call. Stalemate. You don't want to be stale, mate. <laughs> Wow. Oh dear. Well, this might be our last season after all. Frozen <laughs> coming in through main. Ooh. Twist. Flushed. Oh. Finders are back. And only good for one before Frozen trades. It's just a skirmish for A. And it's everyone fighting here in this site. Frozen is the only man keeping things even right now. Carrigan's going to get into the site and get that bomb down, that nade. Somehow doesn't do a lot of damage. Carrigan don't have armor either. He's just running this one nude and looking it to lock it in. Bobski gets the info as to where one of these players is. Carrigan's just dancing around the train. He's streaking these together. And now Plopsky's been dodged by the man up on green. He's wrapped around behind, but oh. Carrigan holds his ground. And so now Sports, they come in with a reply very, very quickly there after the bomb plot. They go 9-8 up. Carrigan retrieving that AK proved to be a blessing in disguise as they win the round out on the back of it. Yeah, man, he's like a ballerina. He's just dancing around the site, not giving a fight, just spinning and... Uh, Elegant. Yeah. All of those things, yeah, Impossible man. Impossible to hit. We'll ask him about that if they win. We'll say that... You called him. You're a little ballerina, I think, were your words. Definitely didn't call him that. But ballerina. There it's fine. Go. There's no evidence. There's no VOD. Delete it. Oh, okay. NIP forcing back in here. They want a, another piece of the action. And they might get it towards B. Mouseports with four. Frozen setting up utility. Holding on to the Ivy push as well. Smoking pop. No one going there for Mouseports. They're going to molly smoke it. Trying to clear that one out, trying to deny any flanks, but Frozen will be coming in late to deal with that if there are, which there aren't. And Hampers need some help here on B. Might just be a save here for NIP. I hate the sound of the footsteps on that metal. Just goes right through me. So that was fun. Fans of High Octane CS, don't worry, because it is coming, rest assured. Ten on the board for Maus now. These Deagles trying to take guns away. Frozen. He's been given a bit of a shooting gallery here. Everyone's having their go at it. Yeah. Still, the Deagle stands tall. For Nork, he's like, yeah, I'm done. Bye. Runs away. Bye. Mouse Sports. Reach double digits, still no money for NIP. So when I said the high octane CS was coming, that's next round. Keep waiting. It's going to be worth it. Of course, BMAS, there he is. Of course, in his dark room. Can't actually see him. He's not the taking picture. the lens off his, uh, his cap. Oh, that's right. it. That's yeah. the one. The old lens cap. All been there, of course. I remember recording two hours for a vlog. And then realizing the lens cap was on, oh, right. and then I stopped vlogging forever. Oh, man. That was my first and last attempt. It was a cool vlog, I guess. That was the no podcast. 
Nork never saw that coming either. And this A crunch looking to come in for Maus. I'm going to burn this A site to the ground. And as they move in, there's not much in the way of resistance, is there? So this is nice, it's clean, and it's exactly what it needs to be for Mouse Sports. 11 on the board, and this is where things are going to start to get a little bit interesting. Now, Hugo, I think during our little extended halftime break, <laughs> you touched upon something that was actually a really good talking point, and that is for NIP. Yeah, you, you did, man. I know, I'm surprised, but it's fine, right? <laughs> NIP, they played two games thus far. They've lost both of them. They're, they're currently second to last. The only team that's doing worse than they are is FaZe, and they're 0-3. Uh, but for Nip, they come off the back of a really good performance at Cologne. We had a lot of expectations for them here over in this kind of group of death, as it's been dubbed. And a loss to Maus would put them in a really rough spot. And on top of that, it would be great for Maus Sports because they would be top of the group alongside Complexity. And so, you know, like, I feel like either way this ends, there's a lot that we can take away from it. Either NIP are able to start to dig themselves out of this hole that they find themselves in, or Mouse Sports show the, the the value of this change that they made, right? A change that for a lot of people was was met with like a mixed reception. You know, I think a lot of people wanted change in Mouse, but when Woxic was the man to go, for a lot of people that was like, wait, what? You know, like because he really did seem like a very good player in this team. Yeah. Now Frozen tries to run the gauntlet. Doesn't go well for him. And so already NIP have kicked this off with a man advantage. Yeah, Nade actually rebounded for Rops. It didn't look like his intention. Meant to bounce and hit Popski. It just goes below the ladder. Double bounce. AK retrieved. The spam could be good, but oh dear, B Mass gets into the smoke. There's already a player out. Deep Carrigan. He is all over this site, but he can't find Popski in the pop. Drop in for Robs. Oh dear, it's a good flash and it keeps him back. Res does trade. Nork on the Orb keeps things in the favor of NIP. But Chris is getting closer and he's crisscrossing into the site, dropping one more with the Orb. There's the Compi campus trades at NIP. Just so many waves of defense on this A site. Everyone here ready and waiting up to nine. And there was the high octane action that we've been waiting for. It took a couple of echoes, but it finally came through. And yeah, Rob's classic trick, dropping the flash into the smoke. And Plopsky looks away. There's just so many ways to, to get down into Pop Dog. You can even fake a flash, just drop it above Pop. And often players will turn at just the sound of it alone. Rob's, he's got his fair few tricks. Carrigan back on the AWP, gonna get boosted by Chris J. It's a tower of AWPers and oh. Carrigan misses the timing there. Looked right at Plopsky, but just didn't pull the trigger. And Plopsky comes out of that one surprisingly low on 8 HP, but still gets the job done in what is now a 4v4, 11-9. And look at where Nip are right now. They're in like between the two sites, not really entirely sure. Now they're leaning more towards the inner. Bombs back T main. And maybe start to become more apparent the more mouse sports players perish outside. Chris J takes an op shot, finds and connects with Twist. Now they're inside this outside site. As confusing as that may sound, it's pretty easy. Oh. Outer is compromised. Rops fights in the connector. And the bomb should be planted momentarily. It's going to be a pinch here. Two on two. Rops unsure, but that peak is going to come from Pop Dog. It's going to stop the bomb plant. Chris J halted in his tracks. Now it's just Rops. 40 seconds left on the clock with the bomb in hand. He wants to know where the second player is. He's going to tap the bomb. And look at this big brain, big IQ play. They have absolutely no idea. Rops has swindled them. And actually going back to the Ivy side. Oh, no. He could have gone in. He just wasn't to know that Plopsky's on this side. He's trying to wrap back. But when he goes for the plant, Plopsky still hasn't actually moved out aggressively. So he's in the perfect position to deny this. Now Plopsky moves. Now he makes his play. And Rops with a Molotov that won't even oh. land. Plopsky hears him running and takes him down. That's so unfortunate for Rops. He hits the timings, but he doesn't check the corners. And that will be NIP up to 10. Someone's fallen asleep. <laughs> Someone was legitimately <laughs> sleeping in the fan cam. Resident sleeper in the chat, everyone, for that one gentleman. Perhaps he goes back and watches the VOD or he was faking it. We'll never really truly know. 
Unless we just keep that camera open at all times, in which case we're not doing that either. I mean, hey, he's in the fine cars with it just rolling, so I guess we'll know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but we'll try and keep it down for our sleeping friend. Right, so now, now sports going into B. And then throwing all these smokes. And Nog. Ooh. Ooh, tries to play through the one way. I can't keep that up forever. Sorry, guys, it's your fault. Wake this up! Twist. Closing the distance, getting out through the connector, but Frozen putting on a bit of a show completely annihilates this attempt at the retake. And already that's a save for an IP. That's a little bit of a gut-wrenching round to lose, right? You're up against not even a full buy on the mouse sports side. They hit you with a B rush, kind of as simple as it gets. And you just fall short. And the moment those two kills come in from Frozen, the round was basically over and done with. You were relying on a hero to step up. And the more they tried to make those plays happen, the, the, the worse the disadvantage got for NIP. Yeah, this certainly does have the makings of a 30 rounder, Harry. It's what you wanted, it's what you called here in this third map of the series. And it might be what we get. Certainly makes up for the 16 4 that Nip handed Mouseboards, signed, sealed, and delivered to their doorstep back on Mirage. But this time they are going to have to pay for delivery. It's Mouseboards up to 12 now. The news is in. Alex confirms Vitality Departure. Now, where could he go? I just, I can't put my finger on it, man. Where could call... There's not like any like British teams out there. Well, there, so you I could guess... get like Rattlesnake and you could get maybe a couple of those guys. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Weber. Yeah, yeah, bringing school. back the old guard. Yeah, I mean, Fifth Laren. <laughs> Flaren, my favorite British player, of course. <laughs> Ryberg. Oh, where's this? Huh. No. Not bad. That one landed significantly better than the one we saw before. And even then, it still wasn't a whole lot. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Rez is dodging the nades, but he's got to get away as the fire hits the floor. More fire to be found. Mousebot's clearing everything they can out on this A-bomb site. He players peeling back. Chris and Rob's coming to spawn. Carrigan hoping someone makes his day, gets aggressive, but with a smoke down in main, it's just Rez holding on nice and safe. Our spots, they're going to group up Ivy. They're lining up something here in spawn. Taking their sweet time while they do. Bomb on its own here. It's going to get flashed in, but if this bomb gets lost, that could be a catastrophe here for Mal Sports. Rez, they know there's likely someone close. Util going over. Rez pop flashed himself back in. Chris won't mm. fall for it. He was already tucked tight, and he will say goodnight. Double entry for Chris. Twist on Ivy with one more, and he's dropped it frozen with the Deagle crossing out as well successfully. Still standing in the A site. Chris is trying to keep him trapped, but Plopsky, with the attention drawn, drops the bomb with 20 seconds left. Pops is going to go through the smoke, tries to make a big boy play, and has dealt with Hampus. 10 seconds though, Molly on the bomb, Twist now wrapping around. They've got to retrieve it. They've got to get this bomb Run. planted. Oh, and it yeah. might have all just fallen apart. Plopsky there to tear it away right at the very end. And NIP, they steal it with the pistol armor. Three from Twist, no less as well. From the Ivy side. He's woken up. Oh, dude, good morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. We're still here with NIP versus Mouse. We'll catch you up, seeing as you had a little, a little snooze there. You haven't really missed much, apart from that little... Uh, a little partial investment victory for NIP and this game getting closer and closer. So I say you haven't missed much, you've missed a lot. And I can't catch you up single-handedly. Mouseports, they're going for a bit of a catch up on B. They've not seen this, this site in some time. NIP have already rotated a player in. Nork is here on that AWP. Hampus with a molly, drop down on the ramp. And a uh, mouse is gonna have to smoke if they wanna go through, and they do, but Hampus is ready and waiting too. Through the smoke, Rob's trades from upper, but Nork, no line of sight with this AW 
P. He can't even stop the bomb either. Rops is getting closer by the second and could deal the killing blow, but players coming out CT, so it's not clear for Rops just yet. There's the shot. Ropsky peaks, Rops doubles down, and it couldn't have been more perfect than that in the timing that he gets peaked. Now Mousepool, surely a locked in round. NIP can give it a go. They can give it a look in as Rez comes in on the back line, but Twist has already run to save the AWP. Rez, not a chance for him either at that point. No resolutions in this round. Damn right. Did you just blow a gasket, Harry? What was that? Off, but... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 it's like you can't really tell where that's coming from. Is it like coming out of your nose or? I don't even know, but it hurts a lot to do. So I think I'm limited to like two a day. The last tag pause called in for NIP. Rightfully so. Just three rounds away from securing the series or mouse sports. I thought that was Prius down the bottom left for a second. I'm seeing a lot of people with like duvets on them. Like they are all getting ready to sleep. Is that what this series is doing? <laughs> well, I think everybody's just, you know, they're also kind of excited about the matchup at hand coming after this. And, you know, rightfully so, Harry. Yeah, I mean, whoever could forget the El Clasico matchup. A big vitality, Australis. 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 Yeah, dude, they're actually picking up uh, Renegades, the entire roster, uh. adding them, they're teaching them Danish. It's a long-term project. Like, at what point are we not trolling up here? We're just straight lying. Uh, no, no, that was a straight <laughs> lie, yeah. Darren, he caught me. Oh, shocker. Hampus trying to get stuck in, but it's Rez to deliver. Looking for even more, and Rez Ooh. just tearing it down. Carrigan all alone, and he's legged Plopski as he soars through the air like an F-16. He just deletes him with the MP9. And so NIP, they steal a round back. They seem so good in these, like, pistol yeah. rounds. I don't get it. I don't understand, Mouse. They try and pick up the pace, and in doing so, they just run to their death quickly. Yeah, it's like a double-edged sword, right? Like the the ar argument that oh, they're on pistols, we can go fast, we can we can try and overwhelm the site. Hopefully, they've stacked B. Uh, there's no utility, all those reasons, and well, you just run into wave upon wave of SMG up close, pistol, a rifle on res does so much though. Big round for NIP. Again, it's just back and forth. No one has had two in a row since NIP got their 10th. And we're way past that. This is going to be damaging to Mouseport's economy, though. And yeah, they buy up here. I was wondering, that's a bit of a danger, but they don't want NIP to tip the scales in their favor at 13-13 on the CT side. So they look to keep the lead, try and get it up one more. Two Tech Nines to do so, Galil and Double AK. Do they slow it down or do they run the gauntlet once again? Already out main is one man, it's Carrigan going deep. Molly lands, he's gonna get past it. He has the smoke to buy him room, to buy him time. And Twist, oh my, he flings back. He was not ready for that. Mouseball's trying to pounce on him while he's taking blank shots, but BMAS now shot through the smoke. How has this round tipped on its head? Mouseball's had so much control and now they're all dead. I just feel like there's going to be a tech pause here any second. And with that said, <laughs> oh no, you just kind of have to account for it at this point. 13 13, there's not a better point for a tech pause other than never. <laughs> I, hate, I hate your clairvoyancy, man. I hate so, it. You're one step ahead of the game. How do you know? Are you, you sabotaging? That big ass book I had a second ago. Yeah, it told dude. me everything I needed to know. A script, of course. Yeah. So, anyway, shouldn't be too long of a pause. And with that in I've mind. I've heard that before. Yeah. Three hours later. That was a mad round though, right? Like Carrigan gets so deep. Twist is spamming the smoke. He gets rushed on Ivy. Like whoever rushed him down, I feel for them because they, they did it perfectly. And Twist just hits the most unreal flick shot. It's nice to see him on the second orb as well, right? Like it is map dependent. We see Hampus take the second orb on a place like Inferno. And that's because Nork will orb short. And Twist will play apartments with him and, and kind of divvy up those roles and support his teammate. Uh, you know, Twist as an ex-orper, an ex-primary orper at least, 
knows what his teammates need to do to support him, so can be helpful in that sense as well. And when we've spoken to NIP in interviews, everyone has said that, like, yeah, Twist had no issue giving up this orping role, letting other people play it. Uh, but it is nice to see him on the second op on a map like Train, especially when Hampus is solo inner, right? You don't want to leave your orb solo inner when there's a ramp rush. There's so many players who can get away with multi-kills. Rops is one of them when he's alone on that B-bomb site above the Grey Train and a ramp rush comes in. The amount of 4Ks I've seen from Rops there, Deagle, M4, SMG, doesn't matter. And so it makes sense as to, you know, position based on each map. Hampus solo inner for NIP and often supported by that rotate of Nork anyway. But yeah, Twist finding a stride and NIP, they bite the bullet as Malsports buy up in back-to-back -back rounds and find 13 of their own. And if you're tuning in expecting to be watching Astralis Vitality, the game that was meant to be starting, what, eight minutes yes, ago eight. now, yep. you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute. This isn't Vitality. This isn't Astralis. Yeah, there's a Dane in the server, but he's, he hasn't been on Astralis in years. And so, yeah, you wouldn't be wrong. And the reason why is because this game has just been so damn close. And then also, yeah, there's been a few tech pauses, but we gloss over that part. This is quite nice, I think. It gives us like a bit of time to put some perspective on all of this, chill out, fly around the map. Everyone's having a good time. We're all having a laugh, and that's what's so important here. I like this camp path right here. It's very soothing because it's very, you know, like you said, calm. It's cool. It is. Collected. I, I would love... I wish we had some, like, nice music to... Surely we He's, can. Surely we can make that. Happen. I mean, I can think of one track right off the top of my head that could play. But look at how, look, man, look at the little aiming thing coming out of his nose. <laughs> That's where they shoot from. Actually, just like not out of his ear, so to say. I mean, we are up close and personal with Buddy, though. Hey, Beamus, how you doing, man? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? When you think about that, bullets come from your eyes in this game. Yeah. So you know, when you see someone's head, they can still shoot at you, but. I wouldn't want it any other way. I wouldn't want, you know. I wouldn't even say eyes. That's definitely nose. nose yeah, so definitely really, it's eyes. like this weird, like, snot warfare that we're involved it's in. Snot warfare. Harry, it's snot, snot warfare. <laughs> wow. Yeah, All right. Real bad. Wow. That wasn't the worst one we've said today. That's yeah, for sure. True. We're back in the game, though. Imagine that. 13-13 all Woo. tied up. Split in half. Close to the middle somewhere. Right in the middle line. Plopsy's got firm control of the pop dog area, and it's just going to be Glocks over here for Mouseport. So good luck with that, and we'll see how long they can stay alive in this round. Mouseport's just uh, baiting NIP, running down the ramp, running right back up, jumping above pop. You know, if they had implemented what we asked them to yesterday, they could be playing Cluedo on their save rounds. That's true. Man. But that's true, dude. That's true. Makes some ladders. Cluedo's like a pretty good board game. You know, I'd rate it like in the top 20. What did you put as number one? Like Candyland or something? Candyland. Is that even a board game, dude? I don't know. It is a board game. On, what is that? Is Monopoly is definitely up there. Yeah, but we're already playing Monopoly, but as an FPS. Wow, I've never thought about it that I way. I know it's a big brain. Like, yeah, but you know, like you're like going area. over, you're, you're taking property, you're taking area off of the enemy, and Boy. you're trying to bankrupt them, and that's exactly what NIP are doing here. And also, Rez, the most unforgiven of landlords, that's going to be what? Landing on three hotels, mate? Yeah, you owe me everything. So he takes it all in that round there. 14 on the board for NIP, yeah. and I know you can't put three hotels on one property before anyone tells me that. Maybe right? you can. No, play your family rules. And right now, Mouseports, they pass go. They've collected $200, but that is not enough. They wanted the AWP. They wanted everything here. And unfortunately, the 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 force by two rounds ago that's dug them a hole has left not only NIP in the lead, but also Mouseports lacking cash. And at this stage in the game, right, getting broken is the last thing you ever wanted. And that is literally what is dawning on Mouse right now. If they don't win this round with this buy, they are they are down to pretty much nothing, and it all hinges on getting a bomb plant at least here to open up investment opportunity up against 15. Nades into nice. pop, but Rez is going to win his fight out regardless. And Chris is just left hanging around all alone. Nothing really to do. Doesn't want to drop down the pop and give away another kill, so he's just left. Kind of relying on the rest of his team to draw distractions and... Give him an opportunity to still play into the round. He'll try and molly out the pop player, but oh. Rez just cancels it with the smoke. He's like, nah, it's not going to be that easy, Chris J. The flash is too shallow. And that's 
Bobski holding main, almost a double up. Nork, there's an easy kill for him. Rez is still waiting. Chris, man, I hate to break it to you, but eventually you've got to go down. And when you do, Rez has not moved a muscle. He is still waiting patiently for the pop drop. Carrigan's gotten deep into this A site and is now wrapping behind the opposition. He's just heard that AWP scope up. And so this could be a kill. And if he gets this, that's going to draw the attention out of Pop. Carrigan biding his time, playing the trigger discipline. Now Rez goes for the fight onto Chris and brings him down to one HP. Rez not giving up Pop. Carrigan does at least get the bomb down and he's given them a chance in this two on three. But Chris is literally a breath away from death. Oh, and yeah, Rez, he's going to deliver that onto him now. He's tapped down Carrigan. What a, a amazing round for Rez to just hold his own, to stall the pop dog for so long and to smoke it off, to not even allow Mouseballs to clear him out from the outside once they take A. There may be a bomb plan, but Chris has to save. And at least that means he gets lost bonus. Guns can be dropped over, but NIP just defusing the smoke and they take match point here. It's come the distance, it's gone a long way. NIP... They might have just made it a reality at the finish line. Look at those shots. Rez, man, he is clean. He's had back to, or well, not back to back, but two 4Ks on the CT side, holding down T-Con. I think everybody just fist bumped. Or even someone who had like a broken hand. Did you see that? Like with the, with the cast, there. like putting it to the, yeah, that's cool. Style points, man. Not as stylish as Mr. Robin Cool. Not to be confused with Robin Thick, two totally different people. In this one, the only thing that's getting robbed is mouse boards of the lead and potentially of the game, pending the outcome of this round. A lot riding on this one. Map and series point for Nip. Got all the tools, all the devices, all the kits. They've got it all. Let's see if they can hang on right here at the very end. If Rez is playing popped on like he has been, then Mouseport's are going to have their work cut out for them. We usually see Rops dominate that position in games, but he has had a tough time in getting control today. Even though his performance has been great, his position has been locked down. Oh, a little nade, Rops. Bullying Hampus on the B-bomb site above the train. He knows the inner positions. He's been there before. Precision airstrike. Look at this though, NIP, they've preemptively put Plopski in the connector to rotate to B. Rez can rotate up through Pop. So if Maus do indeed commit to this inner site, the rotations can just come in so quickly for NIP. Now, as I'm saying that, Plopski, of course, has left connector. Goes back to it now as all this utility starts to pour into the B site. Mouse, this is going to be a very disjointed push if this is where it's looking to end up. And so, yeah, it's not. Rops gets out alone while the rest of the gang still have their eyes set towards A. They deal with Rez in pop. That opens up the rotation here for Carrigan with that bomb. Plopski on the bomb train, trying to make a bit of a stand. He does have rotations coming in through the connector. And it's Hampus delivering a oh. kill. But is that going to be enough? Because this site now has fallen apart. They're trying to get them off the bomb, but they can't. And Nork is dealt with shortly thereafter, 14 to 15. It's one away from overtime. And if they don't get it, it's all over for Maus here. And IP will be taking their first victory in the Pro League. And hey, the money won't, uh, hasn't been saved, but Carrigan picks up the AWP at the end of the round and they upgrade all those Gulls to AK. So Maus will actually reap the rewards of that round. Rops as well. Importantly, he doesn't overplay his hand down towards B. He gets down ramp, he sells a fake, he keeps two in her for a bit, makes some shots go through the smoke, but he never actually peeks. And if he did, he would have walked into the AWP and likely died. So him coming back into A, although he's not the guy getting Getting the entries, but just that number, having it alive for mouse sports is everything. Cover for the plant. Throws with a big kill onto the site as well. And Rez, he's back in the pop dog, back to his Rezzy ways. His resolve. His resolutions. Popsky though, pushed decon as well. The control is there for NIP. Lots taken away from Mouse. So we'll have to be another slow stall out for Mouse Sports. Save their utility for the later game. Yeah, but anything can happen right here, Hugo. And you can see that. You can see that Mouse Sports aren't ready to give up this fight. 
Very real potential here. They're gonna hold on to it. Started to set their eyes on the inside. Hamp is gonna throw a return grenade that well actually was exactly thrown at him from the opposite side last round. One player Ivy. It's gonna be Bemis by himself. The rest of them trying to pop out lower just as fast as they possibly can. Kerrigan inside of the site, uh -oh. caught with the kill. But I don't know if it's enough. Hampus has got a lot on his plate. <gasps> and... Oh, no! Chris! They're next to each other! Chris is touching him with the barrel of the gun. They've gone round each other. Hampus in the smoke. Chris is like, I don't know, man. That smoke felt very, very deep for some reason. And now trying to get the bomb down, oh. but oh, no! Oh. Bob saves his life. Well, he doesn't, but he does get the trade. And now Bemas arrives from Ivy. Maus, they need this for overtime, and it all falls onto Frozen. 1v2, back of the bomb site, and two players to beat. It's an open and M4 up against him, Ooh. Rops. Or Frozen, rather, delivering Ooh. the first, and he just gets out of there. One HP, still alive. No idea how. Orp in the hands of Twist, but he's on the 5-7, looking to deal with it, oh, looking man. to deny overtime. Frozen, the game is oh, in his my. hands, and he locks it in. We go into OT. Mouse Sports and NIP, the fight rages on in overtime in just a moment, so don't go anywhere.
not enough cat jams in the chat. So what we did here is we stacked these two players next to each other and then put ourselves into overtime. That's how it works around here, ladies and gentlemen. You know the routine. Off your feet, Pepe Jammers, all that cool stuff that you're doing in the chat. Of course, you're doing it for that man right there. He's about to smile for you. Look at that. It's kind of a smile. It's more like just a thumbs up. Anyway, this is DSL Pro League Season 12. Harry, Hugo, myself, and an overtime on the cards. We've been to two maps. We've been to three maps, and now we're looking to extend that third map just a little bit more here before we jump into the Astralis Vitality game. And we're glad you're joining us, no matter where you find yourself in this big, wide world. Yeah, Frozen, a one on two, one HP to get us here. And now it's got to be worth something for Mal Sports. Molly through the smoke. Rez, the pop king in this game. He gets traded by the man coming through. Twist with a shot to stop Rob swiftly after. And BMAS with the Molly at the back of the bomb site is going to keep Nork passive. He smokes it. He wants to go through with the orb. BMAS has wrapped round hampers though. This is getting messy inside of the site. The bomb getting spotted in Nork with a quick shot to Carrigan. Tagged back, of course. It's got to be so close. And it's never clear until we're just just there. Oh my! Almost a follow up for Nork. The bomb retrieved, and Mouse Balls with nowhere to go but A. Oh, Twist is quick with this AWP. Now, double AWP up against B Mass. Frozen was able to clutch out a 1v2, turned 1v1 at 1 HP. Can B Mass do it with double the health? In theory, sounds easy, right? But is it going to be? BMAS wrapping around, looking for this kill with Nork. Quick on the trigger, uses the AWP up against the tagged man. And NIP, they steal that first in overtime away to go up 16 to 15. Win. The magic number we're looking for, of course, 19. Which is like a six, only but, the wrong way around. Yeah. Crazy how nature do that. Rob's at 30 right now. Frozen's close behind on 27 of his own, but some quick flicks hit in this round. We've had some great orping from Twist in this one specifically, but Nork shows up in the first round of OT for the lockdown round. No AWP here for Mouse Sports. Back to the flat rifles. Money is not an issue in 16k MR3. So Carrigan, he's speeding off his spawn out towards A. He gets very deep for not that much damage if you consider the two Molotovs that were expelled in his position. They know he's here, though. He's just flashed out, and he's going to double back as his team hit B. No one's watching. Hampus is very passive on upper. Lots of room being given, and he's not even looking at this one. He realizes too late. Now they're already in the site. They're already in connector. Chris can cut off rotations as the bomb gets planted. Hampus, they're getting closer to him by the second. Frozen gives up some control towards CT, but NIP, they've certainly got a tall order ahead of them, especially with two players so damn deep already. BMAS spotted in behind oil, but this is where Chris J can have his say in the round. Down goes Plopski. BMAS trying to swing to extend it even further, but in doing so, he's dug a bit of a hole for a, the side oh. of Mouse. Frozen holds his ground, and Nork not able to get past Chris J. He gets sent back in, and Mouse Sports, they immediately respond with a round as well. 16 to 16, we're all tied up. Those numbers are the same. I've checked it with the analysts. They've weighed in. I don't just mean CS analysts, I mean number analysts. And they say yes. Yeah, that was a great execute from Mouseports. They throw all these fake smokes on A and Carrigan runs out Olaf. That keeps so many players on that A site there for NIP. The Chris is able to run down ramp and get through connector. That wasn't an A lug. That was just him speeding it through B. Hampus was upper, and so he never saw it until they were already too deep. And Mouseports level pegging right now, 16 all. Looking for a two to one lead. That's a great grenade, though. Good damage done. And, oh, Chris is taking a beating in this one. Molotov as well. It's getting hot for BMAS. He might have to use a smoke, saving it until it's absolutely necessary. Rob's lurking in on his own. Flashed out by Hampus. Or for Hampus, who's here with the peak. Another flash coming through. Rops now knows he's got him trapped. He's going to run him down. Oh, confident stuff for Rops. Uh, for good reason. His 30 second kill. An inner flank could come through. Rez is up in pop. Could come up the ladder. He's holding for the rotate back. He's not convinced. And good reason to be. It is an A take. So Rops might have to get past his aggressive CT. Oh, barrel spotted. Rez repositions. He doesn't want to get dropped. But he turns around and Rops drops in on his face. The orb still fires off a twist. His third of the round right now. And that's left Chris in a near undoable clutch. What's Chris J got up his sleeve? Oh, okay. 
It's the slow crawl back in through main. 4 HP now. We've had a 1 HP clutch. We've had a failed 2 HP clutch. And now on 4 HP, as they keep doubling the numbers, they only double the trouble. NIP steal away another. 17 to 16 at the end of the first half of overtime. Does this game have double OT written on it? It Don't certainly feels like it could. <laughs> not right? now, not that you've said that, no way. It's impossible. Or well, rather, I guess it is possible, but not probable. Can Nip pick up this first round though? That we've switched sides. We're gonna see if they've got an answer. Again, if you are just joining us, we're 27 minutes now. Past the schedule time for Vitality Astralis, but for good reason. Obviously, Chris J taking aggressive fights like that with an AWP. That's what we've signed up for. That's what we came here to see. And Hocus Pocus himself playing around the E box. Oh, no. Oh, Frozen just looked away. Hampus tucks oh. inside of the smoke. Frozen. Oh, my oh he's looking the wrong way. And the fade favors Hampus. The trade back for NIP in a four on four now. They know where the AWP is, or at least one of them on the site. There's still a second to be found. Chris pushed back. Carrigan back of the site, side by side of these AWPers. Oh dear, Carrigan goes wide. Hammers is deeper than they made out for, but Chris is going to be able to get that trade. Smoke down to the E-Box. They got a cross on the right side. Twist is dead to Chris, Ooh. who has just been coming alive in this overtime. And oh. rocks of the grenade drops Nork as well. There's no getting out of this A site. Trials and tribulations run round every corner, and now Plopsky needs to walk up behind one of his own. Rops has come in. They don't know how deep Plopsky's got. He's not going to take the connector. He wants everything. He wants the flank, and he might catch Chris on this rotation. Oh, dear, he's been spotted, looking the wrong way, and still reconsidering Rops inside of the site. That's not the case. He's flanking Pop. Time might be out for Plopsky. He's going to try and get this bomb down, and that's now heard. They know that it's come in, and there's the wrap from Rops in through the Rops dog. It's 18 or 17 on the board, rather, for Mouse Sports. They tie us up in the second half of OT, and this game still belongs to anyone. It's open season here. Two rounds left in this second half of OT. Mouse Sports, they needed to do it flawlessly, and they're a third of the way there. Yeah, Hampus, man, he's so good on this A side, just getting into uncomfortable positions. That camera shot makes me uncomfortable. The fingers going through the bomb. But the defuse comes in nonetheless. And now, now Sports, double orb continues. Nork on his, 16 and 23, having a slow start. Harry, this is kind of what you called coming into this series. Nork, he's been banging earlier on, but he often does slow down in that third map. When we go the distance, it's hard to keep it up across a series, but Chris J has no issues, years of experience, and Fast Fingers flicks back up to find Propsky, going in for more, Nork won't allow it. Traded right back. Two players crunching B, Carrigan's here, holding, ready and waiting. Rez is gone, Twist won't go out to try and trade, it's just too far away. Uh, Hampus Again, Hampus. In A, and no one from ours even knows like, no one knows. No one's even considering it. No one's even holding main. Like, what? Hampus has just walked in. Even he's surprised at how free this is. Carrigan, I'm so sorry, bud. You might get knifed. You actually, you might probably... Yeah, Hampus is going to show respect. Let's just, wait. Let's just wait right here. This is cool. He's waiting. He's playing. This is so patient. He's going to wait for his teammates to get into offer. There's Bye -bye. the kill on a Carrigan. And now they're left wondering, like, what the hell has just happened? Rops falls. And dearie me, Mouse Sports. Two on three in the retake. They're going to try and, I was going to say, like, come in together. But oh. Nork just takes the fight. And Hampus does the same. 18 on the board for NIP. Match and series point in their hands. Mouse Sports, they've got to play for a double overtime here. But Hamper, but NIP, rather, they've been here before. They they had map uh, match point just moments ago, and it was frozen to clutch it out to get us here into bonus rounds. So don't count Mouse Sports out. Money no longer the issue, and that was so long for them on that second half. Hampus, man, what a cheeky guy getting behind enemy lines once again. It's been all too consistent. He's going for it once more, running out T-Con. Rops pushing behind this smoke, going deep into upper. He's here before they realize, but Molly down for Rez, waiting on the fade. If he sits in it, could be favored. 
Actually, he's using the wall to his advantage. Rops has gone above, and all oh, Res is trying to put him below, but no one can see a thing. Rops spams him back. Hampus again in the smoke frozen. Not again. He turns around oh. as the fade comes through. Unfortunate timing, and it might put NIP in the finish line, but Chris has other ideas. Knockout in main with the AWP. Again, snatching back the advantage. On a knife's edge now. Miles brought a man down. Chris has got to do it all. This is impossible. Surely it's a good shot to open up, but Nork trades it back and NIP.